At 12.30 p.m., Monica pressed on the radio in her car before she clicked her seatbelt. News was her go-to station, and she wanted to know what stirred media juices in case it reflected on the reason she'd been contacted. Tragic shooting this morning of Zain al-Qureshi, bodyguard of Saudi Prince Omar bin Talal. The victim was shot and killed at the Frozen Rock Ice Cream on Westheimer. He was part of a royal entourage that arrived from Riyadh earlier today. Investigators are on the scene. No arrests have been made. The commentator moved on to sports, and Monica silenced the radio. Not good. The relationship between Saudi Arabia and the U.S. didn't need a weak link. Many of the Saudis, especially the conservatives, would want to hold the U.S. responsible. Most likely why her handler wanted to see her ASAP. Within fifteen minutes, she'd parked her Honda three blocks away from a safe house east of the Galleria area. Before emerging from her car, she swallowed two Tylenol with half a bottle of water. Dratted headache attempted to distract her. For a moment, she admired the peaceful setting, basking in the tranquility as though it were sweet nectar, hoping it would chase away the pounding in her head. The weather had coaxed pink azaleas into bloom, and the lawns and shrubs wore a vibrant green, like a new spring dress, fresh and welcoming after the sporadic rains. Danger often didn't wear a disguise. She walked up the sidewalk to the traditional-style, two-story faded brick home built in the 80s. A dog barked. A red cardinal called out from the top of an oak tree. A ten-year-old Ford sat in the driveway, no other vehicles in sight. Seemingly safe, yet her Smith & Wesson was a touch away in her shoulder bag. 